Hello everyone and welcome to Faith in Place for the week of September 27th. This week we are still in the book of Genesis and we are studying Joseph, the story of Joseph and his brothers, a story of dreams and betrayal and forgiveness. And on Sunday, Pastor Ashley posted a prayer in place asking us to share places where we dream. And so today I wanted to show you where I dream. This is our fire table on our deck. It is a place where Adrian and I come often after the kids go to sleep to do our dreaming. So we dream about the places that we want to go, um, especially now, where would we travel? Who would we visit? Where um, are the places in the world we want our kids to see? We also dream about those house projects we want to complete, um, that never ending list of, of things we could improve. And we also just have dreams for our kids and we talk about that, um, you know, what we want for the school year, um, the types of friends we want for our children, some of those big dreams of what we hope for them in the future um, and, and, you know, future friends and spouses, um, those, those dreams that all parents have for health and happiness for their children. And today and this week, we're thinking about dreaming. And I am wondering from you, what were those dreams that you had as a child? Often as grown-ups, uh, we're pretty quick to thwart some dreams of our, of our children if we don't think they quite align with the dreams that we have for them. Uh, and I just want you to take a moment and think about the dreams you had as a child. And we can get to know each other a little bit better that way. What did you hope for? What did you want to be? Um, what did you want the world to, to be? And how can the church support those dreams and support those dreamers? We know that not all of the dreams that we have will come true. We also know that not all of the dreams we have for our children or grandchildren or nieces and nephews will come true. And we also know that God promises to be with us, to be writing this story with us. Let's pray together. Dear God, we have heard a great story, a story of a boy who became a man, a story of dreams, a story of jealousy, a story of rivalry and a story of the assurance of your love for us. We all have a story, each with unique, good chapters and bad. But like Joseph, our story is written with you coloring the pages with us. We leave here to continue our stories. May God bring color and life to yours this week. Amen. <laughs>